Rorisa Monarabella is the living example of what to do when life throws you lemons. After failing his third year in BCom Accounting, he discovered that instead of numbers, his true talent lay in art. Having embraced it, the work of this student talent is already selling internationally. Hello, the Insider SA. My name is Rorisa Monanabela. I'm a visual artist. I'm also an architectural student. Welcome to my studio. I'm about to show you some cool stuff. With architecture, I'm still studying. This is my third year. So basically, I'm studying architecture at Rivets University. But my journey didn't just start as an architect. I've always, you know, growing up, I've always had those qualities of being creative, thinking out of the box, you know, imagination and stuff. I like building. Now, 2016, I kind of like failed one of the modules, then I lost my bursaries. And that's why I discovered, you know, my passion for art. And then after I dive deep into art, I kind of like learned about the Renaissance. And one thing that I've noticed was architects, artists, engineers, were being done by the same person, Michelangelo, for instance. You know, he was both an artist, an architect, and an engineer. I would like to be an architect because it seems like it has unlimited opportunities as well. Okay, so in my work, you would normally notice the use of gold, the use of hearts, the use of crowns. The golden perspective in life in general is by trying to reconnect with our younger self because as we grow up, responsibilities come and there's pressure for success, there's pressure for being able to afford our lives and stuff. And I was like, maybe we can learn a lot from looking at life from an angle of a child. So that's where the birth of the golden perspective came. I was like, maybe the golden perspective is to look at life from an angle of a child. Hence, you see their glasses are gold and they are clear inside. It's basically to say they look at life for what it is, not what it could be. They value the presence more than they think about the future or the past. Rory Sang is not a fan of spending his time on social media, but he does use his devices for art. Before I used to use a sketchbook, now I use an iPad because it makes my life much more easier and I can trace all my projects easily. Now, after I'm done the sketch, now it's time to transfer the sketch to the canvas. But now, the nice part here is I don't have now to worry about mistakes because I've already done most of the, of the mistakes on the iPad. The idea behind the Love in Abundance is to showcase the most important things in life in general, which is the love, the laughter, the heart, and most importantly, the smile. Because the whole concept behind the Love in Abundance is to show that the present is the ultimate goal or ultimate um, luxury in a way, if I can put it that way. So the type of materials that I use is charcoal, pastel and a little bit of paint. The reason why is because they are normally used by kids because of messiness and the fact that you can erase when you make a mistake. We are at the client's place right now and um, the client has collected two pieces from the golden perspective. These are one of my early pieces. I try by all means to give an art piece a voice. So the inspiration right now is these both paintings were kind of like inspired by my mother's personality in a way growing up from a single parent, strong woman. And again, I think the deepest thing that I wanted to kind of like showcase was the happiness in abundance. There are two styles of art that can be found in my work. I normally call them techniques. So the first one is hyperrealism and expressionism. The reason why I use hyperrealisms on the eyes is simply because kids, they look at life for what it is, not what it could be. And then the reason why I use expressionism in, or, on the rest of the art is the freedom that comes with the ability to master the skill that I've already started with. And I also try by all means not to be so technical when it comes to the rest of the piece. I just try to let my emotions drive the process. Which they have, all the way to making him the first student to do a solo exhibition at the Vet School of Architecture. Welcome guys, it's an exhibition day. We are currently at Fessler Gallery at Vets University. I'm about to give you an exclusive tour before the exhibition opening starts. If Rory Sang can get his architectural designs to evoke the emotions his art does, he is set for a very happy career. 
So the title of the solo exhibition is called The Golden Perspective. The Golden Perspective is quite broad. But how I normally look at it, I normally say it's even bigger than me. First of all, I'm going to start with the eyes. And the eyes are the main theme in my works because the eyes represent the vision that kids use to view at life in general. Now, in terms of the expressionism, number one, it's not controlled. And each piece is unique because I don't plan any strokes and lines. Now, in terms of the colors on this piece one, the colors in my head, they represent different races because kids are universal language. I might be drawing kids from my own neighborhood, but I believe that each and every kid is universal in a sense that everywhere in the world, people understand the language of kids. Now, these colors that you see, they represent different skin colors in my head. And all colors are different. And the colors are driven by emotions as well, like how I wanna feel at that point. Okay, I wanna feel blue, I wanna feel this, I wanna feel this. I don't try and control the process of the use of colors. This piece right here is titled, This Love. So with this love, it's quite very simple. I was trying to basically reflect how precious love is, much like gold. So now the gold that I've used there is basically symbolic. It symbolizes that the only ultimate human need is love. And if you notice how kids, they express love, they give love. So that's where I realized that, okay, I think this is the ultimate goal I would like to kind of like maintain and always having in my life, this love. Thank you guys for coming and spending time with me. I hope my work inspired you in some way. And if you would like to come, my show would be up until the 14th of September. Peace guys. This next collection is titled, For We Walk By Faith And Not By Sight. It's the kind of belief sure to make Rorisang Monanabela famous far beyond bits.